Hey guys, it's Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber, and I have to film this unboxing in my living room, and I'll do a little bit more on my desk later on to show you some stuff. But it's so big, I can't do this in my uh, in my studio room, so I have to do it out here. And it's super super heavy as well. It's a really big big box. And uh, what's in here is called live cubes. Now live cubes are little plastic cubes that you can stick together, and you can build things out of, sort of like Lego, but it's not quite like Lego at all. Um, you can actually build your burr puzzles out of this. So that's what I bought it for, so I can actually test and prototype my puzzles uh, before I have them built. And uh, I might have to glue them together and make them permanent too. I've heard that it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but we'll see. I might have to do some sanding. So let's go ahead and start opening this box. Alright, so this thing is huge. I don't even know where to start here. I guess I'll probably just paper. Yep. So this is really big. I believe this comes from the States in California, I believe. Sorry, Live Cubes, if I got that wrong. Um, anyways, I ordered a lot of them, as you can see. So let's go in and take a look at what we got here. We've got some packing. Wow. So I've got a whole bunch of yellow ones. As you can see, they're just uh, little yellow cubes that you can stick together. So I've got a whole bunch of yellow ones. It's in here, packing. So we got yellow, red, pink, orange, brown, white, blue, green, <laughs> uh, different color green, and black. And then here, we've got a couple of things on the bottom here. So this here says live cube sample, 1.5 centimeter cubes, pantomime piece cards, finished panel. So I guess maybe I build things out of this. And then this here, I don't know what this is. Um, this looks to be a computer mouse. So this is what it looks like. And I'm not sure what I do with this. I think it's just a computer mouse to be honest, which would actually go pretty well because I, uh, I need a computer mouse. <laughs> so thanks Live Cubes for that. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at some of the stuff here. All right, so here is the mouse pad just so you guys can see it up close. We've got uh, lots of different things and I'm unsure exactly what to do here, so I think it's just a promotional thing, but that's still a pretty cool mouse pad, in my opinion. All right, this is the sample stuff. So, we've got pieces. I have no idea what they're supposed to do. But uh, we've got these 1.5 centimeter cubes as well. Now, mine are 2 centimeter cubes, which are actually really, really big. And um, these things stick together now. Some of the cubes have two of these dots. Let's see, two of these dots. This is my cat Velcro, by the way. She's named Velcro because when she was small, she could stick to anything. She could even climb a brick wall. Anyways, um, and some of them have four for better strength. And they fit together just like that. And that actually fits pretty snugly. So I think, I think I'm satisfied with that, to be honest. Um... So that's that, and then we have these cards. I'm guessing that we can build things out of them. So maybe you build all the pieces and you try to put it together. I'm not sure. I'll have to email Live Cubes and ask them how this works. I think that's the thing though. You, you build all the pieces and then you put it together. One, two, three, four. And then this as well. So anyways, that's that. Let's go on to the cubes. Now, I believe I got many more than I actually ordered. Because I, I ordered, or maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. So these are the cubes. And they can actually stick together diagonally as well to make it really strong. Right? So if we, if we make some of them this 
like this. Take this apart. I'm just going to fast forward this. All right, so now I've made this little square and pieces can slide in. But there is a little bit of tolerance, so I might have to do a little bit of sanding. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if that's the case, then that's the case. Anyways, um, these are the live cubes. Lots of different colors. Wow, there's so many of them here. So, I will uh, come back when I've got something built to show you guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've constructed something out of the live cubes. Um, I'm not going to do a full review on this puzzle. Uh, it's not really a puzzle I'm going to review. I'm just showing you what live cubes can do. Um, so this is a burr puzzle, <laughs> uh, believe it or not. And this is one of my designs called Tower 30. And the reason I call it Tower is because it's taller than it is wide. And it's 30 moves to get the first piece out. Um, you can see how big this is compared to another regular burr puzzle um, so it's it's quite big but it's good to prototype stuff and it was very fun building this um, so we've got you know things that move around and <laughs> but it was it was very fun to build this puzzle um, and very fun to put it together as well oh, no, I can't get it back there we go so it's obviously not as smooth as a wooden puzzle, but that may be my build quality. Um, because really, like, if you guys, I'm not going to take this apart and show you pictures of it, but I'll actually leave a link in the description to a picture I took building the pieces for this, so you guys can see that. But really, what happened is, uh, you know, when I when I take some pieces and I put them together while they're stock, like the way they come. They fit, but they fit a little bit too tight. I, so I sanded everything down. And sanding them down was actually quite difficult. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't very difficult. It was just time consuming because you really had to plan where you're going to sand. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I had to sand only where the outside surface was and on the outside of everything. Um, so this is actually all sanded down. It's just that I sanded it with three different grits of sandpaper. So it actually comes out just as smooth as the, uh, the stock cubes. Um, but overall, it, it moves very good. You can see that it's not super tight at all. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of these, so I'm going to start building. Uh, the only thing that is time consuming really is gluing them together straight because you can glue them together crooked. And once you get the super glue in there, you've basically just cemented these things in place. So, um, but it's actually very fun to build these. I think that in my opinion, it would take just as long to build one of these as it would to take to build it out of actual wood. It, sometimes it's very catchy, like it doesn't want to move. So, so it'd be like very hard to like find a move once in a while because as you can see like down there, you can see it moving in and out. If it's not perfectly aligned, it's not going to go. So you know what I mean? So you've got to, and then things, I don't know. It can be a little bit frustrating. <laughs> In a sense but as long as you have everything lined up it works but that's what i bought live cubes for it's basically to prototype my designs check them for rotation so when i have them built by a wood builder like alphonse or stefan or other people who knows um i'll know that it works so i'm not getting a puzzle that's got rotations in it and stuff like that so that's live cubes guys um if you're into this or you find this fascinating to build other things in any form or whatever you can buy live cubes at their website and the link is in the description. This is not a sponsored review or anything like that. I paid for all of my live cubes. Um, I just really like the product. I think that it's really good for building things. Um, if you guys wanted to build any of my puzzles or anything, cause you know anything about burr tools and you find them on the internet, a puzzle will be played. You can do that if you build them out of these things, uh, whatever you want, right? So. I will also be coming out tutorials on burr tools on how to design. So you might want to buy some of these if you learn how to design your own puzzles, right? Anyways, guys, so that's my video. Um, check out Live Cubes. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.